Green all along. And he was blocked by Gamper. As Mo was trying to contest the landlord, access denied. You really enjoy blocking shots. Yeah. Like, what's up with that? I mean, just like when it comes to, you know, the dunking thing, yeah. you know, I always say dunking is therapeutic. It's just something about, you know, going up and contesting the shot. You know, it's just some type of adrenaline rush, really. You know, you get a block, <laughs> the adrenaline is rushing, but if you don't get a block, it's like, ah, you know, but I'm gonna try again later. So, really just, you know, I, I like a challenge, and, you know, I try to jump with the highest jumpers in the league, so. So now you've got the dynamic, and I know we explored mm -hmm. this, just you and I talking off camera. I think it was the beginning of the season about yeah. the possibility of you and KP being on the court together. Right. And the season took its course, and then we put you two tall humans on the court at the same time, <laughs> yeah. and you guys started rattling off wins. Mm -hmm. How was your relationship with him on court? Like, what type of synergy do you two guys have when, when you're out there working together? Oh, it was like clockwork, you know? Just really, we just figured out ways to just kind of like work with each other, be at the right spot at the right time whenever each of one of us have the ball. You know, like if he gets it in the post, I always, <laughs> I was like, well, the first time that we did it, he was like, yo, Gaff, you know, whenever I get in the post, just work out. I was like, look, man, I'm just going to get out of your way, you know? And then you're going to, he's going to attract so much attention, it's going to put me in a good position to either get a rebound or for a dump down pass, so on and so forth. Just like some of the stuff that kind of like opens up the floor offensively for us. And, you know, he basically was vice versa with me. You know, if I'm in a pick and roll scheme or anything like that, he, you know, sits corners in the dunker, just spacing the floor out. And, you know, I'm putting pressure on the rim and that's giving him an opportunity to be wide open in the corner for spray out and so on and so forth. And we just kind of like play it like that, you know. Coach tells him to be in a position to where he's getting the ball, we do that. If I'm in a position to where I'm setting the screen, to either get a lob or to get guys open, we just play it like that. If there's one thing, one part of his game that you could add in your bag, mm -hmm. what would it be? Really just, you know, his poise in the post. You know, mm -hmm. I just really just like time and time again, I've gotten the ball in the post and I've kind of gotten off balance. I've kind of been in a position to where I was like impatient and just trying to rush a move out. And when he takes his time in the post, whether it's back to the basket or if he faces up, you know, and he knows how to manipulate the game to where he can get fouls around the basket too. Because you can't just bad guys down anymore. You know, you got to work ways around that. You got to, you know, get guys off balance. You got to get guys in the air, so on and so forth. And just try to find a way to get an easy bucket or get a foul around the basket. And just really just me just finding ways to have patience like how he has in the post, you know, is just something that I'm still slowly working on for my game. What do you want the next step for your career to be? Really just being consistent, you know. Like, I don't want to just try to force my way in and just say, I want to be that guy. I want to be one of those guys that comes in, you know, kind of like a Bobby Portis one. That type of role, you know, just being in the right spot at the right time, being the energy guy coming in and just working on it. You know, I'm working on expanding just like my game in general, you know, just so like whenever the time comes, if I ever have the ball in my hands, I'm comfortable in that position to where like I've worked on this so I can actually implement it because I've shown stints of it, you know, attacking the basket, finishing around the rim. The things that I've been working on and the things that I've like shown on the floor, kind of going back, that's the things that I've yeah. been working on, you know, I like that. And just taking it one step at a time, not really just like rushing into trying to, you know, be in that position, but whenever that position, whenever that time comes and I'm in that position, I'm ready for it.